Bits and Bones, and welcome to Slady's Quick Reviews, where I share a concise rundown of my thoughts on content that I don't have a whole lot to say about. This is a review for The Stolen Kingdom by Bethany Atezadeth, which I read and reviewed in 2020. My original review reads as follows. A tough book to rate because it appeals to me in ways beyond its literal story. Fairy tale retelling? Love that. Strong female lead? Yup. Political struggle that translates to real world problems? Check. Fantastical creature hierarchies? For sure. I personally enjoyed reading The Stolen Kingdom, but I know that I'm biased. Things I found subpar at the start of the story slowly faded out of my awareness. There were awkward phrases and a lot of passive voice I think could have been easily edited out. That said, the book held itself above in a genre that I usually find a great amount of story issues. It was intriguing, action-packed, and overall very cute. <laughs> As much as I think it could have been improved in its editing, I am nevertheless excited to read the next installment. I rated The Stolen Kingdom a 3 out of 5 stars. And now a word from Presence Lady. So much like other things, um, I haven't gotten around to reading the next book yet. That seems to be a running theme with me, where even if I like the first one, getting to the second one is significantly harder for some reason. And you know what? I think I'm gonna bump The Stolen Kingdom's rating to a 3.5 out of 5 stars. There are a lot of instances in self-published works that I've read since this one where the writing style or editing has made the enjoyment of reading so much harder, but that just wasn't the case for this. At the very least, The Stolen Kingdom was engaging enough that I didn't have time to nitpick things, and I could just fall into the adventure and its rating should reflect that. It was... It was a fun read. So as much as it's very unlike all the other types and genres of reading that I typically enjoy, I would recommend picking up The Stolen Kingdom if you like a light-hearted, kind of action-y fantasy that's not quite young adult, not quite adult. It just doesn't like overplay into the young adult things and it was quite nice. I will, I will be picking up the later installments at some point, I promise. As always, thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to my patrons. If you'd like to support me and my content, there will be a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!